Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me video. For the ones that follow me on Instagram already know this, I opened an Etsy store to sell these cards I painted. You can win a set of these. If you are interested, keep watching till the end of the video. Now let's get back to planning. Of course, before the video, I sketched my setup with a pencil. For June, my theme is bees, or bumblebees to be accurate, because they are much fluffier. Before we start, let me just show you how I draw a bumblebee. I always imagine all things consist out of simple shapes. This helps me draw. So for example, for me, a bee is a triangle with two or three circles. The triangle is for the wings and in the circles you can build up your bee. Back to the cover page. It's quite simple this time, but I always prefer the minimalistic covers. To define the bumblebee I use a thin fine liner. 0.2 I believe. My apologies for the camera by the way. This video focuses more on my hand instead of the illustration. When I'm done drawing, I am using watercolors to brighten up the page. As usual, I am not that careful with the watercolors because I like the splatters and the messiness. To make the cover a little more interesting, I created a Dutch door. For the monthly spread I had a honeycomb pattern in mind, and I thought it would be fun to show a part of this on the cover page. I used this template for the hexagon and the Stanley and a cutting mat for the Dutch door. On to the next page, my monthly overview, with like I said, my honeycomb pattern. In the left upper corner, a bumblebee for decoration. And I'm also back to my favorite linear setup. It's quick, it's easy, and I think it's really pretty.
Also adding watercolor again. I use a mix of lemon-like yellow and orange. I will also add some yellow to the pattern to make it look more cheerful. The next spread is my tracker page with surprise surprise a bumblebee and a honeycomb pattern. During the making process I already experienced that as much as I like this theme it's not that diverse. Again I begin with the fine line for the illustration, the pattern and the numbers and after that I'm adding some color. For the ones that saw last month's video, I did a mix up for my habit tracker and my mood tracker. A circular setup for my mood and tiny calendars, I don't know what other ways there are to describe this, for my habits. And though I like creating these pages, I end up not using them, so I'm back at this setup. Let me know in the comments, which setup do you prefer or do you have another setup? And the last spread as usual is my weekly spread, with an illustration in the middle for a change. It's a bumblebee with a flower. Drawing this flower seems difficult, but it actually isn't. It's just an oval and a circle as base, and after that you can add petals. I did a tutorial on this flower once on my Insta.
and we're done. I really hope you guys liked it. Back to the giveaway. To win this set of cards, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're a subscriber. Comment below what's your favorite spread of me of this month so far. The winner will be announced in the next video and I'll make sure I'll contact them. If you want to see more journaling, give me a thumbs up or subscribe or check out my Instagram at Dutch underscore dots. I really hope to see you next time. Bye guys.